Dynamic Time of Flight – A Probabilistic Model for Temporal Integration of Dev Sensor Data We now describe the operation of a normal time of flight camera. The camera captures a set of infrared frames using an active illumination measurement pattern. A DEVS algorithm uses the infrared frames to produce a DEVS frame. And this capture and computation happens for each output DEVS frame. In the next time step, the same measurement pattern is used to capture another set of infrared frames. And the DEVS algorithm produces another DEVS frame. The camera operates continuously in this static manner. We call this behavior static for two reasons. First, information from the previously captured infrared frames is not used for computing depths of the current frame. And second, the measurement pattern remains static over time. Our proposed method is called dynamic time of flight and operates as follows. In every time step, we also capture a set of infrared frames. However, Instead of using the same measurement pattern in every frame, we use different measurement patterns over time. We illustrate this by showing the infrared frames in different colors, purple and red. To infer depths, our dynamic time of flight algorithm uses information from multiple time steps, as shown by the green arrows. The camera operates continuously in this manner. Therefore, each set of infrared frames contributes to multiple DEVS frames. We demonstrate a real-time implementation of our approach as follows. We use a prototype camera with a 30 frames per second capture. We use a dynamic 2-frame two 2-pass two measurement pattern that we discussed in the main paper. This pattern is composed of two individual measurement patterns. And the toggling between these two patterns is visible as flicker in the infrared image. The real-time demonstration shows that our model is robust and is working in real-time. In the video demonstrations, we will use the following layout. In the top left, we show one of the infrared frames. In the bottom row, we show the DEFS inference results. On the left, the static time of flight model and on the right, the dynamic time of flight model. In the top right, we show the motion map statistic, which indicates whether the dynamic time of flight model uses information from previous frames. Pixels shown in blue are assumed to have a large change in imaging conditions, and therefore information from previous frames is ignored. Pixels shown in yellow are small change pixels and all the information is used from previous frames. Scene number one, a living room. Scene number two, a larger room. Scene number three, a different type of room. Scene number four, containing fast scene motion. We now perform a detailed comparison. For this, we take a single frame from the capture and we compare the static 1-frame 2-pass model and the dynamic 2-frame 2-pass model. We use the MCMC inference with a large number of iterations. 
and in all outputs we do not perform any spatial filtering. In the DEFS inference results, here on the left the static result and on the right the dynamic result, we see a couple of effects. First of all, in the lampshade and the sofa, there is a clear, visible reduction in DEFS noise in the dynamic model. Second, for objects that undergo rapid motion, we see no visible motion artifacts in the dynamic model. To further illustrate the reduction in DEFS noise, we show the same data as a point cloud. In this visualization, we show the static one-frame two-pass model in orange and the dynamic two-frame two-pass model in green. Observe the reduction in DEFS noise. Here we show the same frame, once as a point cloud and once as a DEFS frame. In this side view, you can see the results obtained by the static time of flight model. On the lampshade, there is significant depth noise, leading to a poor reconstruction. The dynamic time of flight model achieves a better reconstruction due to smaller noise and depths. Like on the lampshade, in this image you can see significant depth noise remaining on the sofa. The dynamic time-of-flight model reduces this noise significantly.